Earlier this year, Disney agreed to purchase the majority stake in BAMTech, the digital media company spun off from MLB Advanced Media. We know it as the source of the technology for MLB.tv and MLB.com, but it's far more wide-ranging than that now. At present it powers Inc. for MLB, HBO, NHL, WWE, and, eventually, will power Disney's and ESPN's upcoming Inc. services. The company was started by an investment from baseball's 30 owners, so they're getting a big payout as a result of the acquisition. Earlier this morning Jim Bowden dropped this regarding how much of that payout is in the offing in the short term according to multiple sources all 30 MLB teams are expected to receive a payment of approximately $50 million in the first quarter of 2018 for the previous sale of BAM. MLB, Jim Bowden glowing star Micah Jim. Bowden SXM December 15, 2017, that's probably on the low end, actually. Some people I've spoken to who are familiar with the acquisition say the figure is more like $68 million in Q1 of 2018. Good for the owners it was a savvy, forward-thinking investment that, in the past, baseball owners might not have made. But Selig, Bob Bowman and others deserve credit for convincing the Jeff Lorias and Jerry Reinsdorfs of the world to think big and long-term. It's money out of the sky, raining down upon the owner of your baseball team for, basically, doing nothing. Money which should be remembered when your buddy complains about a relief pitcher getting $6 million for only pitching 65 innings. Money which should be remembered when your team's GM says that he has to cut back on payroll in the coming year. Follow at Craig Calcaterra free agent right-hander Giovanni Gallardo is headed back to the Brewers on a major league deal, the Athletics' Ken Rosenthal reports. No other terms have been reported yet, as the agreement is still pending a physical. Gallardo, 31, completed a one-year run with the Mariners before getting his $13 million option declined by the team last month. He provided little value during his time in Seattle, pitching to a 510 record in 22 starts and putting up a 5.72 air at 4.1 BB9 and 6.5 SO9 in 13023 innings as both a starter and reliever. Still, assuming the veteran righty is on the cusp of a comeback, he may as well try for it with his original club. Gallardo last appeared for the Brewers from 2007 to 2014, racking up a cumulative 20.8 FWAR and peaking during the 2010 season, when he earned his first All-Star nomination and Silver Slugger Award. This will be his ninth career season with the club. Even with Gallardo aboard, the Brewers are expected to continue deepening their pitching stores for 2018. With team ace Jimmy Nelson still recovering from shoulder surgery, the club will enter the season with a projected rotation of Gallardo, Zach Davies, Chase Anderson and Junior Guerra, the latter of whom pitched just 70-13 innings in 2017 following a right calf strain and shin contusion. Another big-name pitcher could help cement Milwaukee's rotation and keep them competitive for another year, though they don't appear to have made any concrete moves in that direction so far. Follow it with Coast Fangirl.